And here we are talking about the e-scooter. So when you, I've done some researches because it's not only about you sharing your thought today. I'm mm -hmm. also doing some homework. Mm -hmm. So when I search for this this e-scooter on Google Trends, it's easy to tell that the peak time is around March mm -hmm. or the summertime. So in the spring, you prepare for the the, the the writings, and in summertime, if you want to upgrade your stuff, you definitely search on Google. Mm -hmm. And it's the mostly search countries are Germany, Australia, and Switzerland. That's very common to expect. But mm -hmm. the fourth one running is United Arab country, yeah. which is kind of surprising. And they are actually just hosting the uh, the, the world football game right now. Yes. And we are expected to, to watch the Germany tonight. So as for the past 30 days, the Amazon Germany sales, it seems like the i-scooter, the IS, let's say e-scooter, mm -hmm. and ODYS are the top two brands. However, what we are mentioned about some of the prominent players in the global um, e-scooter market include like Hero and BMW, which is not often, not well, quite normally see on the on the day-to-day -day road. But as mentioned above, based on the products, the global well, e-scooter market can be categorized into folding, standing, self-balancing, and retro scooters. So the e-transportation is becoming a very e um, environmentally friendly thing. And it's alter, um, alternative for us as well. So the growing pressure, it moved on to limit the carbon footprints as well. So. I like to say on top of the market research, what about Julia? And oh. do we cover like all types of all the level choices? Okay, so uh, talking about Tuya uh, outdoor and the vehicle products, actually, um, generally speaking, we have three models as we showing on the slides. It's the entry level. Don't uh, say one, two, three. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the entry level, mid range, and the premium models. So for the uh, the basic features for the entry level, it's it's like the it has the functions including the uh, HID unlocking. Uh, app and FC control, a real time display of the cycling data, and track recording, bicycle locating, something like this. And also, it can have some real um, life data information, including the speed, uh, the bicycle sta uh, state, the battery level, and uh, some mileage for the current travels. And uh, for the uh, mid range, uh, I don't know, um, the most are very similar with the entry, le entry, entry level, but it supports the blue, Bluetooth speaker. Yes. Sorry. I'm serious listening to you. Yes. <laughs> it, it supports the Bluetooth speaker, so it, uh, it can um, support uh, you to play the music and uh, answer the course, which will make your driving more fun. And uh, for the premium models, uh, except uh, all the functions supported in the mid-range, it can support the app remote control and the data synchronization and the anti shift GPS, which is very important in some countries, right? So, um, and the data synchronization, um, bicycle data monitoring, and the, the geofancy, NFC, and uh, all the others are very uh, similar with uh, the other two levels. So, uh, Generally, this is the basic features of the two years model products. I think we're going to demonstrate at least uh, the, the entry level and the mid level well, as today's. So uh, talking so much, it's about time that we are going to demonstrate the samples here. Um, OK, so uh, before we play any videos that showing overview of this product and what are the uh,
Okay, so now you see the real SAMP, and uh, we will demonstrate the core functions of the app. Firstly, it's the scooter controller and uh, unlocking and uh, level control. Also, functions like the inspection, uh, recording. Okay, so uh, on the app, uh, on the app, you can see how the app control the e-scooter and how the data are showed on the app. Various, like yeah, I'm getting all of that. 